everybody, my name is Minnie Mantis 519 and today I will be showing you how to make something very interesting. What it is, is a temporary observer clock. It's actually really cool. So what it does is, so you have an observer here and then there's one right on top of it like that. And then the piston pushes that one down, which activates the clock. And then it activates the dispenser or whatever you want to activate it. Just here. And um, it's really cool because it, it's actually only for a few seconds. It shoots about 9 or 8 or 10, 8 to 10 bu bullets or whatever. So... I do have the stuff right now, um, except the fire chargers. So first thing, observer, then sticky piston, dispenser, or whatever you're using there. Maybe it's regular piston, or just the same thing. Redstone, comparator, well, there's no more redstone there, so I'll delete that. Um, and eight acacia button and barrier you don't need a hopper which is just for a demonstration after this okay guys so we're pretty much ready i'm just going to add another fire charge stack okay so as i showed you a minute ago you do this first then you just place your barrier, what, barriers on top of here and you put a sticky piston like that and then you can delete that and now that's pretty much the main bit done with whatever you're using. So that's the main bit done. Now all we have to do now is the pulse extender it sounds a bit of a complicated word but it's really good it, it it's so useful and i mean so useful you know i mean so useful because if, if you do this that makes a pulse extender and you just use a button and it really extends the pulse. And that's, it's pretty much done. All you have to do is load the fire charges. Oh, I've got some more in my inventory. Perfect. Oh my gosh. I, I, I really don't know how to, um, quick, um, put things in like that on the computer so please let me know if you can um and here we go well that's good isn't it i think that's 10 if it's without the pulse extender it's just five and if you can see the mechanism it's actually quite Easy, it's very simple. It's very, very simple. It's very, very simple. Okay, okay guys. As a video finale, I'd like to do something absolutely crazy. And as for um, just this part, I want you to guess what it is. Now, it, I will announce to you what it is. It is TNT, yay, we get to use TNT. Okay, so if we grab some TNT here. And then let's 
put some in there like that and then put our super cool Okay, that, that was good timing, guys. I, I can't believe how I did that, actually. Uh, okay, guys, here we go. Let's do this. Well, that failed a bit, didn't it? Well, that's, that is really what happens when you do st stuff like that. You should use command blocks, it's much easier. It's not as effective this as well. So, I hope you enjoyed today's video about this ultimate flamethrower that is, that is toggleable and really cool. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye!